All right, everybody. So if you followed the last live stream, I got part of this done. If you go back, you can kind of see what the live stream was, but I'm going to now record and hopefully release this before the next live stream, which will be this weekend. But uh, so here we have uh, where we left off. Um, one thing I did do is go and found the right kind of other capacitor that I needed here uh, that was missing, which I think was the 103. Where was that one? Here. But anyway, I must have put that one in correctly, so I'm rambling on for nothing. Um, but at any rate, now we're going to. I will have to figure. I still have to figure that one out. Actually, it goes right here, and I have to see if I have it in another box. We'll go to that a little later. So for now, instead, what I want to look at is what comes after this guy at the point zero two. Uh, da -da. Oh, and I, now I don't have that one sitting here either. I swore I pulled all these out. I'm going to take a short break and see if I can find those two in this box because I need both of them. Back in a minute. All right, we're back. So I was able to hunt and find one of them, but it seems like somehow, in my infinite wisdom, I did not order the right kind. I think what I did is it needs a 0 0.02 microfarad about here, and I got a 0 0.002. So unless I've got someone's, one somewhere hiding that I forgot about, I've somehow accidentally missed that one. But I did find the one that I need for this spot. I, this is my 0 0.05. Uh, it's actually a 0 0.047, but uh, I couldn't find an exact 0.05. It seems like some of those values don't seem to be readily available always. Uh, somebody might have a source for them and tell me about those, but uh, with my luck, I didn't find them. So again, this one is in the same situation, so we're going to want that down this way. So I will quickly add that into here to start us off. there okay so next we're gonna have to miss this guy short term until I can order one of those but we do have a series of three resistors here that will go underneath the other capacitors that will go above it so I'm gonna get those in we have a 1 meg on either side and then an 820 ohm in the middle um, so All right, I'm about done playing with that. I finally hunted down all the stuff I need. You'll be, you'll be seeing a much edited version of this. But okay, so I got my first 820 ohm and I had to hunt to find, but I've got some one meg resistors here. And this does this them. That might be them, let's see. I just went and grabbed everything I needed, so I should be good to go now. Yes, that's one meg. And that's one meg. Okay, so we're going to put our one meg resistors in now. And got one of them. We'll go here. Goes right here. Perfect. Then we need a twenty four K that will cut across back here, which seems where am I twenty four? There it is, right here is this guy. in a second. 
As I've shown before, I always double check these to make sure that I don't didn't get a weird value in here. 24K, all right. And that goes, that's gonna go in here. this then we've got a 390 ohm that will come across here and that might be this one we will check Oh, that's 4.6K, that's a different one. I might as well put that one in though. That one, 4.7K goes, I think it's right here. Yes, it is, it's right there. So we'll put that one in. And then, Oh, that was this. So this is kind of a weird one. I think I was trying to find a 4.7K. Uh, I think ended up getting the wrong kind, but it won't hurt. This is a 3 watt, which is quite a bit of overkill. But since I have it here... Oh no, actually, I don't... This I think this is for something else. I did have a 4.7K standard resistor. I'm not sure if that's it or not. That might be it. Alright, 390 ohm goes... Uh, and then we need a tantalum cap. Let me see where that tantalum cap goes. Okay, that's the presence pot. On the other end, it looks like it might go to ground. So that's going into the presence pot that I think my previous stage yet. So I want my marked side to be to this right side. And interestingly enough, on the tantalum caps as well, I did find a marked difference in noise as well on the dependent upon the end of the capacitor. So something I didn't think that I would find on a tantalum, but I did. All right, and there's that. All right. Uh, I need two 220Ks in that bottom. These two are 220K. I already measured these, so. All right, so now I have this variable resistor. And I can't, I couldn't find or source any of those type that were the kind of typical ones you saw uh, that you would see on uh, these, the bigger ones. So I just happened to try some ones that I'm hoping will work. But this is a 5K. And we will end up adjusting that later. But, looks to me like... And then I've got 110 and 120 K now. So, okay, so what I can do is very quickly tack solder in these joints because they are not connecting to anything else and that way I won't want to run away on me after this.
we'll get both sides just to really solidify it. We're gonna have to put a lead into the other side here, but. I need a jumper between the 4.7K and that one. So let's get us a small jumper there. All right. Now we've got to put these 0.01 capacitors and now that I've got everything else on top. So the first one and again, I'm missing this point zero 0.02 that goes here, but the first one goes from the left side over here. Okay, so for this one, I have to be smart about it because basically instead, this is the, this point up here is the grid of the next stage. So we want my black dot to be on the opposite end down here tied into the middle of this, these three, so. Uh, I'm glad I carefully looked at that, so. All right, that's that one. The other two are, uh, let's see, the 110K. So we want to connect the black dot to the actual resistor ends. Um, so on the black dots here and here, because that's where they're going off to the power output stage. So that will be going this way. So, similarly with this guy. So that is now populated everywhere I can populate it, except for these few that I'm missing. So I think there's just two capacitors I'm missing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to also connect in my wires where I need wires. And after I've done that, I'll like solder at each point. So for example, there's going to be one wire that comes through here and then connects into that. Um, so I'll probably solder it first and then lift it up and then drop it down through carefully. So. Um, Get myself a bit of blue wire. Cut that off. And I'm going to be turning on the fan here to start siphoning away some of this smoke. Um, so that will mean the audio might get a little cruddy from here on out, but I apologize.
I don't know how much you might have missed. Uh, Ran out of space and set myself on some kind of timer, but I've just been now going through putting wires in and whatnot, so it's nothing too exciting. Uh, but uh, through here, I had to kind of leave them out until I can get done. But uh, I'm now just, you know, I think I might have been actually done with most of the uh, component placement by the time that video ran out, but we'll see. But, uh, Alright, so now I'm going to do a quick visual inspection to make sure nothing looks unsoldered that could fall out. I've got to kind of flip things around and clean up and cut some things. But I think... Okay, that's not soldered. What is that guy? That needs a, a wire too, doesn't it? Alright, so I have a wire come off of that one. What does that one go to? Oh, that's a negative feedback, okay. It's a negative feedback. Ah, okay. So this 4.7K, I've not soldered in yet, is one of the four watt ones that I have here because, three watt, because it is the negative feedback. And I don't know why but they're saying there's a three watt. I am glad I double checked that because I have a regular one in there. So. Now I've got to try and carefully pull that out. So I will hook a wire up to that, but that's going to be a negative feedback wire. Um, I was misseeing it on the layout, but that goes off. And I will use a different color so that I don't get that confused. I will use purple on that side so it's obvious that's different. That is the negative feedback that connects off to the speaker output. this out and do some trimming on the bottom side of things that I see that are soldered well and done. So we start here. So, I think that's enough for us to call that good for this shot. We are done with this main board. It will plop up into here. Good to go. All right, guys, that's all for me for tonight. Have a good one.